Hi, this is Attorney Mike Gravelin coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today we're going to take a look at Sovereign Citizen Traffic Fail number 22. Let's do it. What's your, what's your emergency, sir? Well, the reason I'm stopping here is you don't have any plates or a temporary registration on vehicle. What do you think for that? I don't answer questions, sir. What's your name? Okay. And we're off on another stupid adventure. Do you have your license and registration insurance, please? I don't answer questions, sir. What's your name? Okay, my name is Officer Randall. Officer Welcome Randall. And what is your badge number? Are you recording, sir? I don't answer recording questions, you sir. For me of that. I don't answer questions, sir. I need your name okay. and your phone well, and I your badge number. Your registration and insurance, please. Am I being detained, sir? What's that? Am I being detained? You are being stopped for a traffic violation. Yes, sir. Am I free to go? No, you're not. Uh, yeah, you see, that's what detained means. Then you are uh, trying to put me under arrest. Uh, sir, this is false I arrest. The reason why I stopped you? Which is there's no license plates or temporary registration on the vehicle. What is your badge number, sir? My badge number is 16. Officer Randall, badge number 16. Yes, sir. I do not condone this stop. Ooh, well, la di da. He does not condone the stop. Usually they just don't consent to it, but uh, this one's fancy. And I exercise my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Uh and to not say anything further without presence of attorney and counsel. Okay, just so you know, sir, it is a crime to fail to carry and present. So if you do not have registration, then I will be able to force to detain you until I can identify who you are. Are you now, Officer Randall, attempting to threaten me and put me in a situation of duress and force no, sir, and I'm put me under an of, uh, unlaw uh, an oath of crime so it's a simple question i'm just asking for your identification and then we can proceed make sure everything's good and then i can get you out of here i don't answer questions and okay, i don't sir. i don't agree to that contract <laughs> as usual there's no contract involved here no, no, no contract was proposed we need an offer and acceptance and some consideration if you want to avoid the statute of frauds, you'd like a writing. I don't see any of those elements here. You're detained because you didn't follow the law. The end. It's about 8.45 on Wednesday morning. I'm on my way to work, just minding my own business when Officer Friendly pulled up behind me. I don't even know if he's an officer. I asked him for his name and badge number. His name is Randall. I forgot the badge number, but I should have it on recording. I am, he said I was being detained because I wouldn't give him my license and registration. So I am charging him for his time right now. We've been here about five minutes I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say your time isn't worth very much actually <laughs> i'm basing that on your horrible arguments and uh that car i don't even recognize the make if somebody knows the make of this car please i'm curious could you put that in the comments below for me i i'm looking at it it's on the steering wheel it's got a thing i i, I yeah I, you know the video might be old but i i don't even recognize what model of car that is. this will be reflected in the affidavit of truth <laughs> I love the affidavit of truth. It's just so soft set. It, it sounds important. It's just dumb. It, may, it has no, there's no legal significance there. <laughs> whatsoever. It sounds medieval <laughs> and it's entirely pointless. Hi, this is Ali with the Sovereign Citizen Patrol and thanks to all your generous support, I'm getting belly scratches. So please remember to hit like and subscribe so I get some more. And... We'll see. Winning of the world. And oh, and of course I've invoked my Fifth Amendment rights as soon as he said I was being detained. Invoked my Fifth Amendment rights and requested counsel. Yeah, you continue to run your mouth, sort of destroying the whole point of it. 
and told him he will be prosecuted for false arrest and will be charged for his time, for my time that he's taking up. Okay, sir. So, do you have any identification on you? This is my identification. I would have really liked it if the officer would have said, okay, and here is my taser. But uh, th this is this is just so ridiculous. He points to his face. This is my identification. I, you know, I don't know if you're aware of this, but most of the world doesn't know you by, by sight. Okay, so here's the deal. Like I explained to you, if I can't prove who you are, and I've requested identification from you because you were stopped for a traffic violation of having no license plate or temporary registration. Okay, if I can't identify you, and you, and you don't want to provide that information to me, it's called fail to carry and present. Okay, which is a crime. So I'm trying to do the easy thing, identify who you are, issue a citation, and we'll get you out of here if I can do that. If I've invoked my right, my Fifth so, Amendment I am right. I'm going to be forced to place you under arrest. I've you invoked my that? Fifth Amendment right. Okay, go ahead and step out to of the vehicle for me. Remain silent Sir, without presence. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle, you're under arrest. I've invoked my Fifth step Amendment right. Step out of the vehicle now. I do not agree to that contract. <laughs> Again with the contract. It's not a contract and we don't care. If I step out of the vehicle, then I'm under contract with you agreeing to... <sighs> I don't agree to that contract. Yeah, we've heard uh, you don't agree to that contract, but I've got good news for you. You will not be under contract. The bad news is you will be under arrest. And you have no reason I was doing nothing wrong. Sir, I can't hear you. If you roll your window down a little bit more, I can be able to talk to you. I am doing nothing wrong. Okay, like I said, you are under arrest at this time. Which is why so I've invoked my Fifth Amendment right okay, to and remain silent. That, and that's fine. So all I'm asking for you is to step out of the vehicle. I won't ask you any more questions or anything like that. But you do need to step out of the vehicle because you are under arrest. Is that an order? It is an order. You heard it here first, folks. He ordered me out of the vehicle, so now he will be charged for his time. <laughs> and that will be summarily ignored. However, you'll be charged with the traffic offense and maybe some other things, and that you're going to have to deal with. For my time. Oh, go and step back here for me, sir. Go and take your hands out of your pocket for me. I'll take this from you. Let go. No. Well, there you have it. Once again, another proud graduate of the Soft Sit University, cuffed and stuffed, just like he should be. Here at Law Talk, we do a lot of videos answering common legal questions. We also do reviews of law in the movies and then on TV. We also share some of our more interesting cases. We're always putting out new videos. So if you like that, please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell.